Hello everyone, I am Gimbo Yeltsin and I am excited to announce that my teammate member Somtoge and I will be presenting on a topic single phase induction motor especially on why they are not self-starting. Moving on with our presentation, we will be exploring two theories namely cross field theory and double revolving field theory which will comprehend us why single phase induction motor is not self-starting. So I'll be explaining on cross field theory. To explain this theory, firstly let us consider a two pole single phase induction motor. When the AC supply is given, given the current flows through the stator, stator winding on both the conductors, thus develop the pole. Due to the flow of current, magnetic field gets generated on both top and bottom windings. According to Faraday's law, we know that when a varying magnetic field cuts a metal conductor, EMF will be generated. And since a rotor is a close, close or short, short circuited, current will flow through the entire loop of the conductor. Using Fleming's left hand rule, we can determine determine the force experienced by a conductor. So, a conductor on a left side it will experience it will experience a force force from left to left to right and conductor on the right side it will experience a force from right to left resulting in a zero force and no torque no torque will be there so when when there is no torque there will be no rotation that's why single phase induction motor fails to self start Now proceeding to the next segment, we have double field theory. Under this topic, we will see how rotor flux interacts with the two magnetic fields phi f and phi b, which denotes forward magnetic field and backward magnetic field, which have equal but opposite torque that causes the rotor to experience net zero torque. For the given diagram, let us assume that the single phase supply of Vs is given to the conductor part of the stator, and as a result current of magnitude Is is induced and flows through this direction. And due to the flow of current in the conductor part of the stator, magnetic flux of phi is induced. Now, if we apply right hand rule to the given diagram, we will get the direction of the main field flux that is phi x with respect to the stator axis. The magnetic motive force at this point is maximum and as we move on, with respect to the stator axis, the magnetic motive force decreases, which can be explained using the given graph. At this point, the magnetic motive force is maximum and it keeps on decreasing as we move on with respect to the stator axis. Earlier, we have seen that due to the Vs, current Is is induced, and due to the Is, magnetic flux of phi, which is given by the expression phi m sin omega t cos alpha, is produced, where alpha is the angle. The given equation we can consider as equation 1 and this equation can be further simplified or it can be resolved into two components using the trigonometry ratio. Using the trigonometry ratio sin a plus b plus sin a minus b is equal to sin a cos b, we can simplify the equation 1 using the trigonometry ratio we get phi is equal to phi m divided by 2 sin omega t plus alpha plus phi m divided by 2 sin omega t minus alpha. Now for the given equation which we have obtained by simplifying the equation 1 by trig, by trig relation, we can consider this part of the equation. We can consider this part of the equation as phi b which acts in this direction and this part of the equation as phi f which acts in this direction. For the given diagram, let us assume phi1 as phi f, phi2 as phi b, and given by the equation respectively. The flux at this point is maximum. The flux at this point is maximum because the flux at this point is given by the summation of phi1 and phi2. 
As we can see, the phi1 moves in this direction and phi2 in this direction with the speed of n s. As phi1 and phi2 reaches at this point, the drop produced is zero. The torque at this point is zero. This is because phi1 and phi2, which acts with the rotor, induces EMF of E2F and E2B, which later produces induced current of I2F and I2B, which later results in the production of phi2F and phi2B. The given flux phi2F and phi2B opposes the main flux phi-f and phi-b and results in the production of forward torque and backward torque. The given torque that is forward torque tf and backward torque tf at this point is of equal magnitude but of opposite direction. So due to this result, the resulting torque is zero. Since the resulting torque acting at this point is zero, the induction motor is not able to self-start. 